Welcome to the FEMAP version 11.1 What's New video series. In this video we'll be looking at some of the new geometry modeling enhancements. The non-manifold add command brings geometric edges and vertices together to create a single entity similar to the parasolid stitching or sewing commands. Using this command you can join up surfaces that don't quite meet up due to gaps, offsets or overlaps. You can now control the entities to be joined together by defining a tolerance. In this example, the vertical surface was not joined to the others as the gap was more than the tolerance specified. The solid sweep command allows you to sweep a surface along a series of curves to create a solid. Here we wish to add a lip to the top surface of the part and have defined a cross-section surface. Then we can use solid sweep to sweep the cross-section around the top surface following the outer curves which have already been placed into a group. The geometry solid sweep between command allows you to create a solid by sweeping between two surfaces. Here we'll join up the solid model by sweeping between surfaces on the lugs and the cylinder. You can control the alignment of the sweep by identifying two points on the opposing surfaces. To ensure correct alignment, the opposing surfaces therefore need to contain the same number of curves. This is easily achieved by breaking the curves at the appropriate positions. Imported geometry often contains discontinuities which in turn will create a discontiguous mesh if not corrected. In FEMAP you can use the non-manifold add command in the geometry surfaces menu to add multiple bodies together and create a single general body. The algorithm starts with the first and adds the next closest body one at a time controlled by a tolerance. Incremental checking checks the resulting parasolid body after each step. If it's not OK, then it rolls back and skips that particular solid. When it finishes, the free edges are highlighted, so you can see what has been connected. Now you are ready to mesh the model and create a contiguous mesh, and also use the meshing toolbox for any fine tuning. A more robust mid-surfacing option is available in FEMAP 11.1 based on face pairs. This allows you to extract mid-surfaces from a larger array of more demanding types of model and takes advantage of recent developments in the parasolid modeling kernel. There is also a new option to automatically combine mid-surfaces as they are recovered. To find out more, visit us at siemens.com slash plm slash femap or call your local channel partner.